Keep yourself updated. Subscribe to Vedanta and click bell icon. Hi friends, now in this video we are going to access the, uh, we are going to download the data from internet which is uh, dynamically keep changing going. So here what I'll do means first of all we need to open the website and then you might see here there is some data top 20 largest countries now in the in the preview it is showing only uh, 10 uh, 10 countries so here i would like to access the data see here you may see that the data is keep changing on every minute here also it is keep changing on every minute so when you import this data to the when you import the data when you import with the website data into the excel excel in the excel there is a private website is there so what happened means when you convert when you import the data from outside to excel in excel Excel application converts these tab this data into tables. So whether we would like to access this table or whether we would like to access this table data or whether we would like to access this data, it is our choice to select a proper table which we actually wanted to import, right? So here there, there is there, there are different types of tables. So this website data is going to be divided into tables. So remember it, this the website data is going to be divided into tables. We need to select a table that which we would like to uh, show in our excel application right so here first we need to copy the address and ensure that when you copy the address it is going to display the website address is that actually worldometers.info uh, slash world population and world population is a page and the website address is that worldometers.info slash world population is a page address right so simply right click on it and uh, copy the data this uh, yes, we also can we also can download live time, even live cricket score, or any any live live share market prices. Is you just I'm showing an example of the world population and go to the data tab. In the data tab we are going to get the data from web. We are going to access the data from internet, so it's just called as from web. And uh, when you click on from web system, give a chance to enter the website URL. Simply whatever the address that you already copied, just paste the address and click on ok so whenever you click on ok system is going to download the data from the respective website and it just takes to another page and this is the data navigator and the preview locator and here in this page all the website data is going to be is going to divide into multiple tables from the list of tables we need to select a table which actually we would like to import so here you may see that when you click on document all the data is going divided into so when you click on document it is, it is showing some data when you click on table 0 it is giving some date and time on world population that means all the website data has been divided into tables is correct so here and here when you click on table one it is going to display some other when you click on table two it is giving some other year so here i would like to access the total i would like to uh, actually i would like to import this data uh, the data which is this data i would like to access these 10 countries data so we need to check where the 10 countries the data is available in which table it has fell down so i'm going to understand table six is not there table seven is not there table 8 yes those 10 countries data is available in table number 8 so select the respective table that which actually you like to import so here this table is selected and click on load so when you click on load automatically all the data will be captured into the uh, into your sheet and it is it, it, it always take a longer time to download the data right so here the data has been imported you first select the range select the range and click on refresh all refresh all and every time we cannot refresh the page like this right so it will be uh, uh, difficult to uh, refresh the thing every time right so select the same range and go to first click on refresh in the next immediately click on properties here we will get this option here you can see that refresh every 
every i cannot wait uh, 60 minutes so simply click on one so for after every one minute automatically the data will be updated will the data will keep changing now the data is having it which is showing here as 776 and here it is it is 795 106 so yes after one minute if you see that automatically the date uh, data will be changed automatically okay, now here the data is going to be updated automatically so now here it is giving that uh, running background query click here to cancel here automatically without clicking on refresh automatically all the data is going to be changed thanks for watching keep yourself updated subscribe to vedanta and click bell icon